Hi, this is Ms. Ray, and I am going to go over some concepts related to the article Tragedy and the Common Man by Arthur Miller. In Tragedy and the Common Man, Arthur Miller is actually responding to an ancient Greek philosopher named Aristotle who came up with uh, ideas about tragedy. And Arthur Miller looks at those ideas and decides to kind of reformulate some of them for contemporary audiences because he had this theory that tragedy was still relevant for modern audiences. Those elements Miller considers to be the essential characteristics of a true tragedy in the modern age are 1. The consequence of a man's total compulsion to elevate himself justly. What does that mean? For Miller, a tragic hero is one who is obsessed with lifting himself up in society. So this is a person, unlike in antiquity, where tragedy was um, believed to be suited for um, the nobility, kings, queens, um, people of very high moral character. Uh, Miller thought, no, any person can be a tragic hero. No matter where he starts, he is not satisfied and rightfully desires to have more. So whether you start at the bottom, the middle, or the top, you believe that you deserve more in life than life has given you. In a sense, we are all Willie Loman. We all want what he wants. We want to be respected and admired by those who know us. We want to achieve the greatness we believe is inside of us. Willie might seem like a strange little man at first, but by the end of the play, we should recognize that he could be any of us if we fall on hard times and are unable to achieve our dream. Number two, the compulsion within the protagonist gives rise to his insistence upon securing his personal dignity. What does that mean? Willie sees himself as having greatness within and hopes to have others around him recognize that greatness. Willie believes that inside him is a great salesman and he's been verbalizing that he's a great salesman. He believes that he can be a successful businessman. No matter how many times he fails, he goes back and tries again because he cannot let go of the image of his own greatness. That image that he has in his mind of who he is is something, if he let go of it, he would have nothing. So he holds on to it for dear life even in the face of mounting um, opposition, even though everything in life is telling him he is a failure, he cannot let go of the image of his own greatness, nor let go of the image that this one day will be a great person also. Number three, as a result, the protagonist makes an attempt to gain his rightful position in society. So, you believe that you're great, but for some reason, you're not where you should be. So what do you do? You try everything you can to um, achieve that position. And if you can't achieve it in reality, then sometimes you just achieve it in your imagination, like really. This is Arthur Miller, the playwright. Brilliant man, brilliant playwright of the 20th century. Willie does two things in the play to gain his rightful position in society. First, he goes to Howard and asks for a New York job so that he won't have to drive 700 miles each way to work. When Howard denies him the request and fires him, Willie's only alternative is to kill himself for the insurance money, hoping that this will use it to start a business for the family. To Willie, the insurance money is something he can give his family so that they will always remember him the way he desperately needs to be remembered as a great man. Number four, 
His attempt manifests itself in a total onslaught of the protagonist against his environment. The word onslaught means a violent attack, an overwhelming outpour. So if you're one person and 10 people are coming against you or 20 people or 100 people, that's an onslaught. You're kind of outnumbered. So Willie feels like the forces against him are formidable more than he can bear. Willie is in conflict with almost everyone and everything around him. He has conflicts with Biff, Happy, Charlie, Howard, society, and even with himself. He talks about feeling crowded in by the apartment building, which is a symbol of society um, crowding him in and not feeling like he has any room to grow or breathe that are taking over the neighborhood. This is um, an iconic image of Willie coming home at the beginning of the play with his two valises, not having sold anything, not being able to drive, not being able to keep his mind on the road, and realizing that he has to turn around and go back home. He talks about the overpopulation and the endless uh, competition he faces each time he goes to work. He is in conflict with the entire universe because it is, it has undervalued him and seeks to marginalize him. Number five, this total onslaught made by the protagonist creates in the spectator the terror and fear that is classically associated tragedy. So when we're watching a tragedy, at some point we get hooked in and we actually have emotions for the central character. We either pity him or we're afraid for him or we're, um, we have some kind of emotional hook into that character. And even though he may deserve his fate, we don't want him to completely have his fate. We want him to see the error of his ways and turn around. We want to spare him from death, but death is inevitable. A good tragedy hooks the audience. As we watch Willie attempt to achieve his goal, we become hooked into the story, especially in the beginning of Act 2. As we watch Willie go off to get that New York job, we want him to be successful. We want him to achieve his dream. When Willie is fired, our concern is heightened. We wonder what he will do to survive. We are into this story completely, whether we want to admit it or not. Number six, such terror and fear derive from underlying fear of being displaced. The disaster inherent in being torn away from the chosen image, that's very important, of what and who we are in this world. Because our image, that picture of ourselves in our minds, is central to who we are and what we believe we have a right to in this life. Willie's identity as a salesman was everything to him. He could not imagine doing anything else. That's why he was willing to do the job even without a paycheck, on straight commission, like a beginner. When Willie is fired, we are fired. We should have a pang, a, a cringe. It should hurt a little bit when um, Howard walks in that room and just fires Willie after so many years of employment. His fear is our fear. His dilemma is our dilemma. What to do now is our primary concern. This is the strength of the common man as a protagonist. We are all common men and women and can easily identify with the situation of the main character. Number seven, the hero's tragic flaw is his inherent unwillingness to remain passive, to be quiet. He won't be quiet in the face of what he conceives to be a challenge to his dignity, to his image of his rightful status. So really can't just sit idly by and watch that image of himself in his mind die away. He keeps fighting against it, railing against it. 
Miller believes that a tragic hero cannot accept his lot in life. He cannot accept his lowly status or position. He wants something more, and this inability to accept what life has given him is ultimately his tragic flaw. This is clearly seen in the character of Willie Loman. Willie cannot accept that he has failed in life. He cannot accept that he never was and never will be a great man. He is constantly trying to elevate himself. He wants that New York job. He wants to give Vic the insurance money, even though it is not guaranteed to be there, because we know that the insurance company knows he's been trying to kill himself. That's dramatic irony. And they don't have um, to pay for suicides. Willie ultimately kills himself for something that probably is never going to happen. What a tragedy. One more thing. If this was a paper, it would be a pretty bad paper because I did not quote from the text to support my ideas. This is your assignment. Go into the text and find evidence to support or refute each of the points I made in this outline. Come in prepared to share your evidence and to have a lively discussion. See you back in class. And before you ask, yes, you can collaborate with a partner to help get that work done because it's a lot. Okay, this is an iconic cartoon illustration that was in the newspaper many years ago of um, the scene from Death of the Salesman. Please like and subscribe to the video. Tell your friends. Okay, awesome students. Work hard. I appreciate you every single day. And I will see you back in class. Bye-bye.